And right now at 4 in the afternoon rush, it's all the big news and weather you need to know to get caught up on your day. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Kara Sundlin. First at 4, some new information on the Connecticut child killed in that horrific dog attack. Police say the one-year-old boy was viciously attacked while on a trampoline by his family dog. Channel 3's Dylan Farron is live now in East Hartford as detectives continue to investigate at this hour. Dylan. Yes, Kara, it's just terrible. The family tells me that they were set to go to Chuck E. Cheese yesterday to celebrate the boy's first birthday party, but that they never got there. Unfortunately, at about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon on Fuller Avenue, the young boy and his mother were on a trampoline when one of the family dogs, as they're all in the backyard together having a nice time, jumps onto the trampoline and attacks both the boy and the mother. Of course, we know that the boy unfortunately died at the hospital. The mother was injured as well. Police are not releasing the child's name, but a GoFundMe set up by the family mentions the boy's first name. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I gotta stop it right there. Because somebody in the comment section to one of the videos that I made actually said they better not start a GoFundMe. Ironic. How ironic. And, they, and apparently they started it a couple days ago. I told y'all that is what was going to happen. Name Lennox. There were two dogs in the backyard, but police are making it clear one of the dogs was the primary aggressor. Both dogs are being quarantined and held in an animal shelter in South Windsor. Both of them in the animal shelter. It's a horrific uh, incident, very tragic. Feel terrible for the family. Our thoughts and prayers go out to, to the entire family um, as they're dealing with this difficult time. Have you been to this house before? Has there any, been any calls to this house involving dogs before? Not to my knowledge, but th then again, that's something I'm sure that uh, our detectives and, and outside investigators will probably be working on as well. Now, neighbors believe both of the dogs' care are pit bull and Dalmatian mixes. Again, detectives are still investigating today. Live in East Hartford, I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. What is there to investigate? Joint Road and Central, we got... They told you what happened. They told you what happened. And they have heard more stories. They've heard enough stories about a dog that has never shown aggression launching future attacks. So why investigate? Why continue to investigate? <coughs> Excuse me. When you know full well that if a dog has not shown aggression in the past, that it can show aggression in the future. They're still trying to get the dog off. I told y'all, these investigations is all about making sure the dog lives. They're, it's their attempt to try as hard as they possibly can to make sure the dog lives and gets adopted out to someone else. But they have started a GoFundMe. Currently, that GoFundMe is over $21,000. Now, let me ask you something. They're raising this money for the funeral to pay funeral costs. How much do you think the average cost is for a funeral for a baby? According to this source, between $3,000 and $2,000. Okay. But understand they set the goal at $30,000. The goal is set at thirty. Now. Most people have never Googled funeral cost for baby or infant. 
Most people have. This is my first time doing it. So if you have to have a funeral for your baby, what's the first thing you're going to do? Understand, these people are computer literate. The father has an Instagram. What's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to Google it, right? And if you see that it costs between three and 12,000, why would you set the goal at 30? I'm just asking questions. I'm not pointing a finger. I'm asking questions. I'm a guy who has a theory. I have a theory that sacrifice has been in sort of embedded into the laws. The laws are structured to permit sacrifices to be made. And I believe that people are hustling that system and making sacrifices so that they can level up, get a financial boost. Everything today is all about getting a bag. Getting a bag, getting a bag, getting a bag. It's all about the bag. But you decide for yourself what's going on. I strongly believe it, 100%. In general, the modern, modern people are, de are degenerates. Let's just be honest. And I'm primarily speaking about the country I'm familiar with, right? The United States. We're more degenerate. We have fewer morals and everything else now than we ever have. I believe this era is where it's most likely that people would be involved in things like this. And look at how new GoFundMe is. It's a new phenomenon. The internet in general. Never before were people across the world able to give you donations. So, fingers crossed, hope for the best. I'm going to keep up with that story. Somebody pointed out that was the second uh, fatality of a baby in a week. But there's actually been more than that. Because I always say, they never report on all the attacks. But apparently, recently, there was another attack in Fort Worth. Simple visit to a family's home in Fort Worth turned into a nightmare. Police arrived. They found the kid suffering from dog attack wounds. Rushed him to the hospital. No arrests have been made. Now, according to the police, the dog belonged to another person visiting the child's family at the time. Now, this is a sad reminder. This is another reason, a good reason why you should not be friends with these people. You may as well just not befriend them because if you try to be their friend and then they ask you if they could bring their dog over, you tell them no. How do you think that friendship going to go when they find out later that you don't like dogs? Then you're going to end up having a falling out. So rather than go through with the heartache of losing a friend just don't build the friendship they brought now they like to point out territorial aggression do you think this was an example when the dog actually went on to their territory what is it now 
the kid get too close? Huh? So don't go over to their homes. Don't go over to their homes. And don't allow them to come to your home. Even without the dog. Because they just came out of a dog house. Which is their house. And they got a bunch of dog on them. To further the uh, longer you separated yourselves from dog owners, there's a good chance you'll be allergic or sensitive to dander and the toxins. Well, the toxins within the dander. And the dander itself is disgusting. It's dead skin. Keep, keep with that in mind. Look at how often they shake. That is disgusting. All that constant, constant, shaking of their entire deranged looking mutated bodies i hate the way that looks that annoys me seeing that because it, the only purpose it serves is to spread filth into the atmosphere it's nasty dander and it just keeps doing it over and over and over that's disgusting Well, you cannot tell these people nothing. Now that surface, when did surface? Five hours ago. The uh, story, the case in Fort Worth. And it looks like they don't even give the kids age. Just They just say a kid. Talk about concealing. And remember, with this GoFundMe, they still have not released his name. According to that broadcast we just heard, they haven't released his name yet. But according to that gun GoFundMe, the GoFundMe itself is for the funeral. And it's even cheaper, if I'm not mistaken, for cremation. Costs as little as two thousand dollars. Do does GoFundMe and the police track the parents after they're given the GoFundMe money to monitor what they spend it on? No. You think they're gonna make over get over thirty thousand, which is their goal? Yes. If they get a hundred thousand dollars and find out. They can have the baby cremated for two thousand. What do you think they're gonna do? Other dog owners see this. What do you think's going through their mind, or at least the the degenerates? I'll say some of them. You don't think they're, man, especially if they're broke. No wonder, so many homeless people got dogs. It's a money maker for them. You get a dog for $50 at the most. And it can earn you, you know, unlimited amount of money. Definitely not good. Two people were arrested. This surfaced a few hours ago. After a child was hospitalized. After attack by a dog. This is took place in Kentucky. These are the owners. Now, does it say that this kid was like 10 months old? It's a baby. And of course, they refer to the baby as a child. A 10 month old is a baby. It's not a child. They didn't even use the word kid. Okay. A 10-month-old baby. Now, after the baby was attacked, this guy hid the dog. Hid the dog himself. It was his dog. And then he told the cops that the baby was attacked by a stray dog.
Oh, yeah. Talk about a sacrifice. You can then, had they not got caught, they probably got up a GoFundMe and kept their dog, which is what they tried to do. All right. Originally reported, originally reported that an unknown stray dog had attacked a 10-month-old. Happened March 12th. Unknown stray dog. You can't make this up. Wow. How despicable. How heartless. Soulless. How inhumane is that? You see, if I see a baby attacked by a dog, a pet, let's say I'm a dog lover, the attacked baby would traumatize me out of my love for that pet you see what i mean all that delusional talk about how dog family that goes out the window a baby getting attacked and be you know being bled that's reality i would think all of that nuttery would go straight out the window and that guy would have wanted to get wanted to get rid of the dog. They hit it. Which tells you what? They viewed the dog as more important. It, reflect on what I always say. When they bring a baby into a home, or bring a dog into a home where there's a baby, they're sacrificing the child's. The baby's safety because they view the dog as more important than the child's safety here they demonstrated it dog lovers do y'all still think i'm a lunatic you still think i'm off base with my theories i've come out with a number of personal theories that nobody's ever said or heard of that's one of them do you still think I'm a lunatic? When here, after the attack happened, after the attack, after the dog proved to be a threat, proved that it doesn't belong in that home. You know that saying they say, that when a dog tastes blood, it's a rat, you got to get rid of it? They were like, nah, nah, we're going to try to keep this dog. I told them it was attacked by a stray. Cannot make this stuff up. Good old Kentucky. Right down there in Kentucky. Okay. That was in Kentucky. This is New Jersey. This surfaced six days ago. Did I, did I talk about this? A parent dog attack, huh? Serious injuries? Okay. Look how often... Like, what is this? Look at how often they conceal the age. What's the point in doing that? Why? They don't want... Maybe they don't want people to know how young of a child it was that they had a killer dog around. I don't know. That is a shot in the dark for me. You see this video right here? This joker, these people, these elderly people. See, I didn't even pull this story up. I didn't even pull this story up. It just happens to be on this website. But I watched this already. This is their son. He was killed. Did I, talk? I don't even think I talked about this. Their son was killed by a dog. And he's fighting to change the laws. To change the dangerous dog laws. Oh, I did pull this story up. Here it is right here. Let's listen to this real quick. I want y'all to listen to this. 
So listen to what, what he say right here. What the father says. Did I, I don't think I talked about that. This guy was jogging. It was uploaded five days ago. He's jogging. Got attacked by two cane corso. Told you I'd be forgetting. I, I don't forget. I just don't report all the dog attacks. West Michigan's couple whose son was killed by dogs while jogging a decade ago are pushing for a new law targeting the owners of dangerous dogs that they say would have prevented his death. Target 8 investigator Ken Colker, who covered this case back in 2014, has this story. The sites my family say they hope what happened to their son a decade ago while he was jogging along this gravel road in Lapeer County will lead lawmakers here in Lansing to take action. It could have been prevented. You, sir, are the age of what our son was when he died. You chose not to properly house the animals. And the end result is the death of our son. In court a year after the death, Richard Seitzma and his wife, Jackie, addressed the couple who owned the two massive cane corso that had mauled their son. Their 46-year-old son, a father of three and a native of Granville, was a cancer survivor who had vowed to stay in shape. Everybody loved Craig. He was just the kind of man that, that people... Now that's, you know, that's pretty epic. I relate to older people who committed to staying in shape. It's hard, much harder when you get older. We're attracted to. He's very good looking and um, he was kind. He was jogging in July 2014. Every day he ran that same route when the dogs with a history of biting escaped from their pen and attacked. He didn't hear them coming. They come up from behind him. And he's wearing his earbuds. His earbuds, and he was, you know, just a jogging along. I can... He lifted his hands to protect his face, and after that, it was over. They try not to think about what their son went through. They were in attack mode, and they didn't quit. Their son begged for his life while a neighbor tried to save him. You can't forgive the sin, but you can forgive the sinner, and we're kind of at that point now uh, the sin was horrible the way it happened the evil that came out of that pen the dog's owner sir <laughs> that that was interesting how he described that the evil that came out of that pen he's talking about the dogs in their decision to attack them what what a description of man's best friend you know what i'm saying these creatures hailed exalted like do uh, gods on earth then on the other hand, you describe him. When you're being realistic, you say things like he just said. Well, the way it happened, the evil that came out of that pen. The dog's owner served four and a half years in prison after pleading guilty to manslaughter. This man. They were then deported. This old man, he's a dog lover himself. He's a dog lover himself. And he, did, he was forced to now describe them as evil, just like who? Who else? Oh yes, yours truly. Am I still crazy, dog lovers? Y'all still think I'm crazy? Okay. The dog's owner served four and a half years in prison after pleading guilty to manslaughter. They were then deported, the woman to Albania, the man to Italy. The dogs, Tony and Julia, were put down. The judge then gave Seitzma's father some advice. The last time I uh, was in his court, he specifically looked at me and said, Richard, if you want to do something, you go out and change the law. A short time later, he started working with then state representative Sean McCann, a Kalamazoo Democrat. I kind of took it up as my cause to try to put something in place that would prevent this happening to anybody else in the state of Michigan. OK, be careful now. Come on now. Are you serious? You you know you don't want to go through with this. Okay, that's a loaded statement there. I better hear a real good plan. Place that would prevent this happening to anybody else in the state of Michigan. And uh, that's what I've been working on for the last eight and a half, nine years. But can't started working on dangerous dog legislation in 2014, but it went nowhere. Then in January, now Senator McCann reintroduced the legislation. But we do need to do something about those bad owners that are um, not cognizant of the public, uh, of, you know, protecting people in the general public. 
in Kent County alone. What you gonna do? What can you do? They getting delusional already. What you gonna do? Once you tell people you can own these things, many as you want, yeah, millions of people getting them, how do you think you gonna regulate and, and control how well they keep them contained? The best thing, the, the most you could do is install cameras in the people's homes and keep a close eye on them, all of them, at the same time. You also need troops in every part of the city. That way, as soon as something happens, they can be deployed there instantly. You really would need law enforcement officers on every block, actually inside every home. So stop it. You can't do something so irresponsible like allowing them to own killer mammals, mut mutants at that. You can't do something that irresponsible and then pretend to be responsible people after that. Lord, nobody should have to tell grown people this. Own Animal Control responded to 610 dog bites in 2021, the last year for which complete figures are available. Sites must father delivered mail for 40 years. I've been bit three times. Three times. And each time I was bit, the owner of the animal said that he won't bite. Well, there you go. There you go. You said it for me. So you, you realize the truth through experience. So why are we so... Understand, I'm saying this because the investigation is based on the whole idea of whether or not the dog has shown aggression in the past. And they only find that out by asking people. Have you ever seen it act aggressive? People can lie. Again, dog lovers, they don't consider dogs barking and lunging as being aggressive. They only consider an actual attack. And so a lot of times they'll lie about that. And that's what they base their investi investigation on. Asking people whether or not they've seen the dog act aggressive. When the reality is, even if everybody said no, it doesn't make a difference. You still have a dangerous creature on your hand that could snap at any moment. And as I walked away, I got bit. Hmm. And I'm one of thousands nationwide that get bit all the time. UPS drivers, FedEx people, postal workers. In the US, dogs bit more than 5,300 postal workers in 2022. Michigan ranked eighth in the nation with 206 postal worker dog bites. The senator says the legislation is about prevention. You remember what I say, what I always say. Why were these postal workers attacked at an increased rate? It's because they walk around the community more and walk up to people's homes. So that's supposed to be an area where they should be safe because it's their job to be there in the community, on the block, on the sidewalk, walking up to your door. We employ these people to do this. And these are government jobs. And y'all still haven't created a safe work environment. They're the only ones not required to have a safe work environment. There's the, they're the only workers required to accept a lethal, dangerous, lethal Work, work environment. What on earth? It's, it's, you cannot argue that it's acceptable to endanger your community like that. It makes no sense. No sense at all. How uncivilized. Y'all make laws saying that it's the dog's right to attack you if you trespass on their property. Knowing full well that people other than the people who live in homes will walk up to the homes and we pay people to do just that. How, how many workers, people do we pay to walk up to our homes? Mail carriers, police officers, their job, right? Uh, electricians, plumbers, carpenters, uh, del food delivery, people who deliver your food show up, supposed to show up with a pizza or whatever. They're paid to be there. 
You're not going to at the same time tell me that the dog has a right to attack these people. Identifying and tracking dangerous dogs and requiring owners through court orders to take steps. Stop. In other words, do nothing. That's all that means. Restraints to muzzles to keep them from attacking. The most dangerous dog. Why not just get rid of them? Stop all with all the nonsense. That's the only true solution. Could be put down. Take action before the problem tips over into an actual attack or an actual tragedy. The law. How, dude? What are you talking about? See, now you have a lawyer sounding insane. You can't support dog culture, man. You just hurt your own reputation as an attorney. You cannot defend dog culture. Don't do it. Before the problem tips over into an actual attack or an actual tragedy. The law would not cover guard dogs, hunting dogs, dogs that bite owners or their family members, or those that bite trespassers, tormentors, or lawbreakers. Trespassers, like the mailman. Our central reference point here, right, is, is the situation with Mr. Seitzma and his son, and it's just, um, you know, it's a terrible tragedy. And um, I think the more he tells his story, I think the more that that hopefully will persuade my colleagues to say that this is something that deserves action. Our son would be alive if this bill had been in place. No. 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 We don't know that. We don't know that. She's saying that because the dog have, dogs have a history of aggression. Could have been somebody else's dog. Okay? The problem is the dogs themselves. Not no laws around them. I need to cut all that out. Now, in other news, what is this? Beaver Community County community comes together to raise money for a dog that was attacked with a hatchet. Hmm. Oh boy. Maybe the owners did it. How easy is that? Get a dog, take it somewhere, you know, slap it around, hit it with a hatchet, then start a GoFundMe. Ooh, some evil person. Attack my dog. Help with my doctor bills. Well, this has to be a hustle at this point. Nuttery man. It's just bad for humanity. All the excuses we make to have them here makes society worse. It makes people worse, human relations worse. Through and through. Now, apparently, India has banned 23 dog breeds. You know, you may as well just ban all dogs. You don't do all that. But okay. Should be at least all big dogs, right? Here they go playing games. You already see they're differentiating between bully breeds pitbull terrier dogo argentino american bulldog okay what don't we see here right you can't have these but you can have a staffordshire terrier i don't see that here oh it is right here okay where's the mastiff mastiffs okay india okay i'm getting impressed dogo argentino Okay, okay. Is there any? Okay, let's check the bully breeds. Let's look at the full list of bully breeds. Because understand, as long as they get a, a bully breed that's not on here, if they do, it's a failure. All right. Now, look at that list. Look at the list. Do you see, is the American bully there? I don't see the American bully. 
Okay, that's a problem. Great Dane, which is a bully breed. Don't see it. Don't see it. Where's the Great Dane? They like to talk about Great Danes. Is the pocket bully there? What about a boxer? What about boxers? Another bully breed. No boxers on that list. All right. Okay, that that's a problem. What about the Caucasian Shepherd? Yep. Okay, they got that. They they might have to expand this list. Got the American Bull Terrier, Bull Terrier, American. How about American Bulldog? I think is on there. Boston Terrier. Yeah, and now, this is the most impressive list, list I've ever seen. I think India deserve credit for this. Even if they're uh, somewhat ignorant of what dangerous dogs truly are, they deserve credit. The, long, the biggest list I've seen only had like four breeds. And that's the UK, I think Ireland, right? Most impressive list right here. But look, is this just pets? Talking about India, right? What about the stray dogs? They're causing a lot of problems. But let's see, maybe this is a step, well, this definitely is a step in the right direction. Let's uh, see how it benefits, how much difference it makes. A lot of stories, a lot of attacks come out of India. Man whose dog was caught on TV attacking a neighbor's dog is convicted. Now, I think I remember this. Wait a minute. Why does it look like uh, this person is getting ready to slam this dog? Like on the pavement. That's what it's looking like. All right. Okay. Oh, he's protecting. He's protecting. Ah, yeah, I do remember this. And got convicted. Let's see what happened. What? Or to carry out 120 hours of unpaid work. Oh, boy. Hey, bravo. Oh, how about this one? Okay. And I, I think that's a small dog. The Presa Canero. Let me look that up. What is that? Yeah, that's a dangerous dog. That's a bully breed too, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that mud is raggedy and dangerous enough. You don't think that's dangerous? That's what I'm saying. Do they just have a longer list in other countries, yet still have a way for dog lovers to finesse dangerous dogs into the country? You gotta ask that question. Because if the law don't work, it just don't work. If it can be, if people can find loopholes in it, it's not effective. It is what it is can't change the facts man now you notice that um, the German Shepherd is not on here those are dangerous dogs German Shepherds are dangerous where is it oh the Canaro is here look bravo to India Cain Corso, bravo to them. Yeah, I got to take my hat off to India. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm desperate to see progress. But but salute to India. Y'all, yeah, you should have done this a long time ago. But yeah, German Shepherd's not up there. 
And, and a lot of these attack videos, they got these type of shepherd dogs. Those, those videos we saw in the elevators, y'all remember those? Those are like all non-bully breeds. So, yeah, I don't know. Whoa, shout out to everybody in the house. What y'all doing up? Oh, it's Saturday night. Saturday night. And I'm feeling all right. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody actually, a couple people pointed pointed this out. That uh, India passed that, that law. But look, man, I, I like it. It feels good to see. I'll put it like that. Maybe I'm bamboozled, but it feels good to see. It look there's a great deal of bully breeds on this list. And look how they just say terriers. In fact, the list looks such where they can themselves can say, hey, that is a terrier. You can't have that. Somebody got to get the ball rolling. Some country somewhere got to get the ball rolling. Don't play no games with, around with it. Get rid of all these large, massive dogs out of your country. And if you get any problem, any amount of lip from the small ones, get rid of them too. Set an example of evolution for the rest of the world. That has to happen. Be an example of evolution. Okay? Dogs are not people. Stop playing dumb. Y'all know that full well. That's why y'all eat burgers without a care in the world that it was a cow. They had to be chopped up, get slaughtered systematically. Stop putting all this fake value into dogs. It's getting, it's killing us. Literally. Literally killing us. Why am I always talking to people about having value for themselves? No matter which demographic you're dealing with, you're lecturing people. Look, take better care of yourself. Have more appreciation for yourself and your family to protect your family. Very strange. It tells you a lot about the world we're in today. You know, when you hear stuff like that. I just recently talked to my mother uh, a few hours ago. Had to tell her to say, get up off the sofa. Get up and go walk in. People just don't take care of themselves. It's crazy. All right. Shout out to everybody. It's not that many people in here. So I always like to see what people have to say. You know, exactly. Shout out, shout out to everybody. And Stephanie Thompson says, $30,000 for what? For what? You had a baby that was killed by a dog. The first thing they did, you, you know full well, was check to see how much the funeral was going to cost. Or at least uh, made a phone call. Hey, I, you know, we had a tragedy. Um, how much to bury a baby? You know, it's, it's a shame. Crazy stuff. Shout out to Stalin, all the members in the house. See everybody up. Buster Mutt, Stephanie Thompson, Mr. Stalin in the building, Luis Colazzo, my man DeVille in the house. Yeah, man. Why not just ban them? Listen, we not only do we not need dogs, we're not designed for them to be around us, period. We got a hard enough time uh, being respectful to each other than to be wasting our affection on creatures, food-obsessed mutants that's obsessed with attacking us, primarily our young. I beat it. Oh, it's scary. It's scary how people, how so many people just don't care about themselves. Lala says, saw a nutter. Shout out to Lalo in the house. Says a nutter left the baby stroller near, whoa, near a street. Where the baby could get hit and tried to sneak the mutt in the house safely. Whoa. And you were, whoa. Yeah, if you, if you can share it with me, send it to my email. That's crazy. And I believe it. Shout out to Esmeralda in the building. Say yesterday a pit bull suddenly crossed the street 
running toward oh snap this hat whoa esmeralda i hope you stay armed i hope you stay armed uh <laughs> wow i stay so ready man i feel sorry for any dog or and dog lover i mean it's gonna be on and popping immediately i'm not playing no game there's always that unsteady you know, psychopath who think he can just let his giant bully breed killer prance around off leash. There was a joker here around these complexes like that, man. I sat outside, pulled up a chair. It looked real odd, and I just sat there armed. I do it all the time. You, you have to be aggressive with these people because when they do that, they're trying to be aggressive. They're trying to intimidate me. Make no mistake about it. Anytime they do that, anytime they bring these mutants and around where they know a lot of people are, they're trying to make people uncomfortable. You know, and I'm just sick of it. A lot of people are sick of it. Fed up with dogs. Yeah. Impossible to live where there's some nature anymore. Better move to a city full of concrete. If, yeah. It's just ridiculous. Raise money for some orphan. Hey, uh, uh, again, make sure y'all subscribe to the content creators. Boy, k Nun spazzing out over there. He's spazzing out over there, man. And, I, and look, man, that's how it goes. That's the same feeling I had. It's like, man, there's so much need to be said. So much need to be said about this group. They buck wild now. They've been able to shame us by threatening us. You know, threaten threatening to charge us with being inhumane we've been all scared to be looked at as an evil hateful inhumane person that's why we did not criticize their dog and that's it's over with that just a whole new ball game now you can't guilt shame us we not the ones being inhumane it's you because that mutant you got is inhumane and you're enabling it see i hate deville said i hate how they classify these large rats somebody uh referred to them as uh, parasites and i've been using that description more uh, myself without even thinking about it they are but this is parasites at this point i think and i think that's a more accurate way to describe them they're just parasites i stay away from them parasites oh you got a dog oh you're a dog mom oh you're a parasite mom fur baby oh you got a parasite baby well but what parasite yeah dogs themselves they're parasites all they do is leech 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 and don't appreciate you know the people who give them the necessities of life and shelter don't even have the brains or capacity to appreciate it i don't want to do nothing for nothing that don't appreciate it again we don't accept people doing this when you're constantly doing something for someone especially when you're spending your resources on them guys think taking women out on dates you spending a hundred dollars one week pass, two week pass. Y'all done went on 10 dates. You done spent thousands of dollars and ain't nothing happening. No. No. It's, it's a state of emergency right now. You know. I mean, think about it. Christmas Day. A big thing at Christmas is have the gifts under the tree in the morning. Okay? The kids go to sleep. There's no gifts under the tree. Maybe one or two. When they wake up, gifts are everywhere. The best moment is their face when they see the gifts right we value 
people who appreciate what we do for them. That's the pleasure of it for you who's given just to see you happy. Just to know that you appreciate it and understand what I'm doing for you. There's what do you get out of doing something for a dumb dog that only views itself as dominant and you as dumb? It don't have, have the ability to appreciate. Lord, make it make sense. Say, yes, I hate dogs, but hate the vicious ones much more. Yeah. And it, look, I'm not going to lie. I'm the same, but they all vicious. They're all vicious and they all got attitude problems big and small but i understand that the smaller ones like i said it's a harder it's harder to make an argument to ban the small ones because they're you know they're not as dangerous but when you're talking about health i think it's easy when you're talking about uh safety uh regarding infants yes get rid of them ban them again anything willing and able to launch a lethal attack on an infant don't belong in a home it don't deserve to be in our home. If it's willing and able, don't deserve to be in a human being's home. Look, the last thing you deserve, place you deserve to be is inside my home. If you're willing and able to kill my infant. I don't understand why people don't apply the same rules to dogs as they do to people. You're sitting here trying to humanize dogs. You're telling us that they're so human-like. But you don't want to hold them to the same standard as human beings. What's the problem? Don't matter that the dog can't help how it is. Who cares? Cannot make this up. Uh, shout out to M. Brown. Said here in Oklahoma, you can get an economy creation done for seven hundred dollars. You just need to shop around. Listen, man. You know, it's tempting. Like if you never had a hundred thousand dollars and you, you know, you get a, a GoFundMe, it's tempting to look for the cheapest funeral or cremation possible. So it won't surprise me. If, like I said, I believe it's happened like several times already. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that, Luis. Says the same with my family. The affordable Tulsa cremation starting at $797. Man, oh man. Man. <laughs> so sad, ain't it? Um, Macho Mike. Shout out to Macho Mike. I believe that if people are allowed to walk dogs then dog haters should be allowed to wear large knives on their belts. Yeah. And that's, yeah, you got a weapon, I got a weapon. But I'm the only one going to be using it in self-defense. That's the difference. Whether it be a knife or gun, whatever. If I ever have to use it, it's going to be in self-defense. You're still the aggressor. So I... So those laws in like those countries where they can't have guns, ain't no way I'd live nowhere like that. No, no. But we say, I remember warning my sister about the food she likes. I told her that no man would approach her eating like, a, oh, uh, well, I hope it ain't eating with a dog. Seeing a dog in the grocery store, oh man, went up and said it's illegal. Yeah, good. Shout out to Inside Jokes in the house. Man. Yeah, some stores don't have security. In the, in the fr Yeah, um, Myers. I've never seen Myers with security at the front. He just had the door greeter. Um, Kroger's. Kroger's. There'd be a lot of fights in Kroger's. I've seen several Kroger's with security officers in there. But yeah, even if the, when there is, they'll walk right past them with those dogs. In a grocery store. Cannot make this up. <laughs> DeVille said walking a dog should be considered attempt attempted homicide. I agree. And, and the charge should go up. It should be worse. 
harsher penalty, you bring that mutt around children. Knowing the facts that we have, and they don't understand this. We got statistical reason to say that. Y'all y'all should be at an increased penalty having these things around children, seeing that they attack children most of the time, over 50% of the time. And no, your God, it, it gets free reign on society. Shout out to Dog Coach Review in the building. Uh, yeah. Most dangerous thing is to humanize vicious breeds. Thank you, Esmeralda. It's so backwards. Like, they're killers. They can kill adults. You don't play games like that. You don't go, let me treat it like my child. Let, let me give it the same freedoms as my child. Bring inside the home, yeah. No. No. Shouldn't have to, you know, shouldn't have to tell people this. Man. Yeah, I got I got two different size knives. I got a big one, small one. I walk around with uh, a BB gun and a real gun. Yeah, I just don't care no more. If y'all could do like that lady is out by the dumpster the other night I told y'all about. Uh, that could have, if anybody would have walked up to that dumpster, it would have been a wrap. There was no way for that woman to control those big giant dogs. They walk around so recklessly and, and, and dangerous. We don't have no choice but to be armed. And I hate when people think that I got my gun, that I got a gun. To use on people. I didn't. I went most of my adult li adult life. Having never. Well I always fought a gun. But I never owned a gun. Wasn't until after. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. After age 40. I became a first time gun owner, owner. After age 40. All because of these mutants. Yeah, I remember that guy. He, uh, this Joker, gave the leash to hit to like a. He, that kid had to be like eight years old. I would even say a little, maybe even younger than that, maybe five or six. And two dogs was on the other end of the. It was one of those leashes that splits, so that you can have two dogs. Gave it to it. They do stuff like that. You got to, you have no choice but to be prepared for people like, like that guy that was out jogging that we just listened to. He should have been armed. You want to go jogging? See, the, the problem is that they don't think about dogs. They don't look at dogs as a threat. All of, everybody who's like that they're brainwashed. They're brainwashed. Don't get me wrong. I believe there's a brainwashing mechanism at play with dog culture. It most definitely is. You know, but we got to be able to spot them out. All right. Everybody hardworking? Getting some overtime? Yes. Carrie, oh, yeah, yeah. I got a nephew who know how to use nunchucks real good. I've never tried it. I never tried it. I know for a fact I probably bought myself in the nose or something. And it's not going to feel good. I use something else. Yeah. Get him get a machete. Get a machete. Walk around with that. If it's legal. Check the laws in your area if you can walk around uh, with a machete on your belt. But you let people know you're serious and you're about business. If you mess around and pull out a machete. It, it, like it, We got to face the fact that there are people who like to walk around and scare people. And make people feel like their life is in, well actually put other people's lives in danger. That's Let me retract that. Exactly. That's what I meant to say. We got a lot of people out here that are very unstable 
and they get off on the feeling of putting other people's lives in danger, feeling like your safety is in my hands. Like I control whether or not you get bloodied to death right now. There are certain group of people who get off on feeling like that. And it's sick antisocial personality disorder that our law is not protecting us from. In fact, they're trying to strengthen. They, they do actively strengthen it. Why you got, got these nutters out here who would jump on an alligator, a bear. Oh, you're not my dog. Lord. Just buck wild. <laughs> Stalin said, I take karate so I can take on some lunatic. I pack a piece so I can stop a stupid mutt. Yeah, exactly. Well, he said, I carry a flashlight to avoid stepping on excrements. Yes. Shout out to uh, Mr. Champagne in the building. Ready for the doggo <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I've been waiting for a long time, you know, I was, uh, going through Instagram earlier today and something popped into my head after I saw yet another woman being intimate with the dog. Ladies, I don't understand why they may think that that makes them look more attractive. To be cuddled up with a big, nasty, wrinkled-faced, slobbering dog. Like, why do you think it enhances your appearance to be next to and cuddled up with something that hideous? You'd be better off being by yourself in these photos. And I'm saying that because... There seems to be a demographic of dog lovers who get these dogs for the sole purpose of taking selfies with them and uploading those photos to social media. Like, I mean, first time owners. I believe there are some first time owners who became a first time owner. So that they could upload those types of photos because they see everybody else uploading them. Okay, to that group, ladies, no. No. You only look better to a dog lover. But that's what they're trying to attract. So who am I to criticize? But it just it baffles me that they they think it makes them look more attractive. No. It's like I wouldn't want to touch you after you've been laid up under that thing. I can only imagine what you smell like. You know, and, and just to know that you're full of this filth, like that filth we just looked at, that video that uh, Dog Culture Review made that I mirrored, I'd never heard of that. i never heard of that. That is dangerous and disgusting. Knowing that you can have eggs on your fingertips, on your clothes, your dog's anus been all over you, all over your sofa, I was reading an article the other day, maybe some of you seen it, where dog owners were finding these small yellow dots everywhere on their sofa. Let me see. It first started on TikTok. It, and it's disgusting. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I found it. I found it. I want to share it with you, with you all. Okay, where are we at? This is disgusting. I mean, I know, you know, this is not the way to try to turn men on or, or, or get men's attention. This is just not the way to do it, to have a dog. This is the uh, TikTok video that started it all. Okay, and, and I hope y'all saw that because I can't bear the sight of that much longer than that. That was difficult for me. And they made an article out of this. Horror, 
as dog owner discovers source of little yellow dots on couch. They decide to make a article and share a video for something like that. That's disgusting. Okay, so I don't want to sit on your yellow dot infested sofa that got a lot more than dog urine on it. Okay. And, you know, people find out how easily actual excrement can travel. It, it travels through the air when you have a dog. People, just pay attention to that smell, that dog smell. There's excrement in dog smell. There's a hint of excrement in the way, in that, you know, typical dog smell that we all familiar with. Be honest. That's part of the scent. It, it, I can smell the, the crap in it. That's because it, it is. And it actually is airborne. In the form of uh, dander and you're inhaling it. Yeah. We, listen. We should trust our noses a lot more than we do. You know what I'm saying? That's real excrement you're inhaling. That's disgusting. Talk about allergic reactions. Then they're always mystified when they come up with these infections, skin infections. They get big craters and, and patches everywhere, mysterious infections. No, thank you. Yeah, as Morelda says, she got rid of her Instagram because of dogs. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. And they recently started to randomly advertise Pro dog profiles on Instagram. But the dog madness is getting worse and worse. Oh, shout out to Macho Mike. He said he got two K bar knives, the original seven inch blade. Yes, sir. Most definitely. And and practice. Practice. Practice pulling it out and you know stabbing all of that that way when you have to do it you you, you do it naturally because you've done it hundreds of times already and was okay what was that? yeah and they sell them knives everywhere too i just saw some in myers pretty much anywhere the uh was it the sporting goods section go there they keep bb guns there too bb guns are strong man i've been using my i've been uh, testing its strength it can put a hole right through a pretty thick piece of cardboard it can do some damage but they're not they're not so they're not as lethal which makes them preferred for some people who don't want to hurt themselves you know shoot themselves or shoot somebody else which is my problem. The problem I have with guns. Man. Can y'all believe that that lady? I kind of don't believe that she eat dog food. But it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I don't, I don't think she's living off dog food. Probably put it in her mouth a couple times for the camera. But that is insane. Yeah, 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 that pepper, yeah, that pepper spray, I'm good. Ah, uh, yeah. Too many stories about pepper spray not working. Nah. Uh, the clicker or the, was it the sonic sounds? I don't trust that either. Don't get me wrong, it, it, it'll, dogs can hear it. But I don't think it really bothers them when they're in attack mode. You know? If a, let's say if they're asleep, you click that sonic thing, it'll wake them up and they'll look around and, and probably walk away or something like that. But if they're in a attack mode, I don't think it bothers them at all. Then they've been whacked with, with everything, kitchen sink, skillets, you know, especially when they're in attack mode, you know, you'll be lucky if a knife work. But keep in mind, this might sound harsh. But if a dog is, uh, or a bully breed is latched on to someone, if they're latched on to them, the safest way to use that knife, you don't want to stab the person who's being attacked. 
The safest, probably most effective way to use that knife is the dog's anus. Just send the knife right, because understand, if a bully breed is latched onto a victim, some dog owners stick their finger up the dog's anus to get it to let go, and it does for whatever reason. Um, I showed a video. I don't know if it was public or not, or, or if I was with the uh, members, where a dog was attacked, attacking a kid or another dog. And the guy walked up behind it and stuck his thumb in the dog's butthole. And the dog released. Yeah, it does work. I don't know the mechanics behind that. I beg. <laughs> but, you know, you don't want to go up to the person and try to stab the dog in the face. You know, there's a good chance you'll stab the person. Can you imagine? A mutt latched on to you. Somebody come over and start poking you, <laughs> poking you up. <laughs> <laughs> no man <laughs> man oh man shout out to BK born in the house so you have to buy things made to harm other animals right like bear spray and you know, if you're going to get some type of spray go for the bear spray bear trap oh bear traps I didn't think of that yeah okay okay dog lovers i'm gonna tell you right now what you're gonna see in my future home you're gonna see a 10-foot fence barbed wired if the law allows it i'm a barbed wired and i'm gonna reinforce it and don't you know that area where dogs dig holes underneath the fences it's gonna run into bear traps on the other side going to be a well-guarded protected area that only a dog could enter and, and he come onto my property boy oh boy i'm gonna have so many booby traps have wire that it's gonna have to walk past i'm not gonna tell you what the wire gonna do it's, it's gonna look like i'm gonna look like somebody from another planet i don't want to i don't want to live like that but if i'm gonna get a, a house be a house a homeowner yeah Especially with the videos we've seen people letting their dogs go over to their neighbors be on their neighbor's porch on their property it's not gonna be me uh, buy things made to harm other animals if it's a dog centered product it won't be effective or else nutters would riot yes I, I I was meaning to say that a long time ago and forgot to say it and then I thought to myself like I need to and I forgot to even bring that up. A lot of these these uh, sprays and these sonic things that's specifically made for dogs, not effective. Because they don't, they're not going to make nothing that's going to cause the dog to feel real, real discomfort. They don't want to do that. So click away. A mutt that's even just barking at you in a rage and hasn't attacked you yet. I don't think the little sonic things will work with those dogs. You know, you know, in a moment like that, maybe um, some spray cause it to run away. I don't know. There have been dogs who have been sprayed with that uh, mace or whatever, and they ran away. It's not guaranteed that work every time because I've heard more stories of it not working than stories where it actually worked. Yeah, I'm good. The normal right. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. Wow, that's a good idea. Uh BK Bourne says some guy put spikes on his lawn to stop dogs from urinating on it. And they put it on, oh, wow. <laughs> That's another idea. And you see, dog lovers would see that. Oh, how cruel. How cruel are you? Oh, they would call that animal abuse. No, that's home protection. 
because it's only going to be on my property. Okay? It's going to only be on my property. So just like if I come onto your property, your dog attacked me, the law says it's okay. It's okay for me to protect my territory. Wow. Yeah. Y'all can look that story up. Spikes in the lawn. I'm going to have spikes, barbed wire, fence, bear traps. I might have a, a mace sprinkler system where it's not water that's uh, coming out, but actually some type of deterrent for your parasite if it wants to come onto my property to be violent and attack unprovoked for no reason like they always do you see see how that work look at this they even sell them on Amazon oh that, that can't be no I wouldn't trust that Again, it's made for them, so they'll probably walk all over it. Especially if they're in a rage, they'll probably walk on, on that stuff, no problem. Here's that story. He was criticized. This man, this took place in Virginia, the worthless mutt. Okay, they got this. Oh boy, wait a minute. Let's go full screen. Northern Virginia man is in his neighbor's doghouse for placing spike mats over his expensive. <laughs> See, here you go. In his neighbor's doghouse. Eric Wang. Sound like maybe an Asian man. Uh, don't surprise me. He wasn't a dog lover. Arlington installed the mats to prevent dogs from using the shrubbery as a restroom. Nasty mutants. Disgusting mutants. On the social media app next door, Wang's neighbors said they were concerned that the mats could pose a danger to pets and children. Well, stop. Stop. Wang said he tried some dog repellent sprays, but the dogs continue to use this. Oh, man, and they kill plant life. They're parasites, flat out. Do nothing but destroy, destroy, destroy. Arlington County Code Enforcement officials made two visits, said the mat is acceptable. Thank you. Look at it. If that, is that it? Yeah, because it doesn't. It's not going to penetrate the dog's paws. Get out of here. They don't like no kind of discomfort for no money. You see how they don't want us to even have fireworks? Trying to shut down fireworks all because of dogs. The doggery, man. The nuttery. It's, it's man, the world is going to reject this goofy culture. And do t we're doing it now. We we already started, and it feels good. We're sick of it. We've been waiting a long time. Many of us been waiting a long time to say exactly how we feel about these things and the whole dog culture, and it feels so good. I've had my uh, daily dose of anti-dog nuttery for tonight. Big shout out to everybody. And I hope to chop it up with you all again on the next live stream as we continue with this crusade.